All right, hello guys, and welcome to my official fall forecast for 2019. We're gonna be talking about the precipitation, temperature, and overall forecast, so stay tuned for all of that. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask you to do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in our description for our social medias, as well as check the pinned comment for our Facebook group, which is just now starting to take off. We would welcome all members to come join that for weather discussion. It's super, super fun if you do enjoy weather. Now we're going to be talking about our precipitation forecast first things first here. Now you can see there's three main areas of differentials from average here. Starting with California, we have below average precipitation. This is in the first shade of brown, so this isn't going to be too noticeable, but it will be a little bit more dry than normal. Also notice that Oregon and Washington is in the average column there, which is going to be kind of a shake up from the norm. I know last winter we had a lot of precipitation, but a lot of times we've been having drier falls and winters there, and that's not looking to be the case so far. So it's good news for all of you up there. Now we're going to start with, we're also going to get into the middle portion of the United States here. We're going to see slightly above average precipitation. This should be scattered in this green area. I don't think on at like after it's all said and done, it's not going to show up like this, but scattered within that green area, we will have most areas showing up as above average precipitation. This is why I ca am calling for this but Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa as well, and some of those portions of the surrounding states, we are going to have overall above average precipitation for most of the people within this region. Now, also the southeastern United States, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, into some portions of Maryland and Delaware there, as well as Florida, we're going to be experiencing above average precipitation. Now, keep in mind that if a hurricane or tropical storm tracks into any of these areas, that's going to shake up these totals a lot. And I can't really call for that on a seasonal forecast. But if you do get hurricanes or tropical storms within Texas, Louisiana, any of those Gulf states or the East Coast, that is going to probably take you into the above average region. And I can't really forecast for that on a seasonal forecast. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, getting into the temperature forecast, we've changed this up quite a bit, but I'm pretty happy with the looks of this and I think this is going to be pretty darn close to what we actually see happen overall over this three month period. The seasonal forecast, these run from September 1st until the last day of November. I just also wanted to mention that this is what this forecast is for. That's meteorological fall September 1st till the end of November and that's what this forecast is for. Now we're going to start out with the west. The Northwest, Washington, Oregon, Northern California, and portions of Nevada, you have a pretty good chance at being above average temperatures there, or at least slightly above average. It shouldn't be too noticeable, and there will be cool downs at times, but I think overall you're going to be experiencing a warmer fall. Same story for the southeastern United States, Louisiana, into Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and a little bit of Virginia there, as well as Florida. We're going to be experiencing, again, slightly above average temperatures. I think this is mostly going to be the earlier portion of fall. We will be seeing warmer temperatures within this region, but as we head into the later fall, it might start to cool down a little bit, but I think for most of the fall, we will be experiencing some above average temperatures, and this will lead to overall the three-month period is going to come out as above average, or at least slightly above average. But for the middle portion of the United States, Montana into Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Missouri, Arkansas, portions of Tennessee, Kentucky, the Great Lakes, and some of those north central regions of the United States, we're going to be experiencing below average temperatures, particularly in that medium shade of blue, where we're going to be experiencing a little bit more noticeable cold, and I think it's going to be a little bit more consistent. Early on, we will have some troughs heading in, but it's going to be closer to average. Later on in the fall, though, I think we're going to get some, some potential Arctic invasions as we head into November, where it's going to feel a lot more like winter within these, some of these regions like North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, nothing too crazy for you guys. You guys have experienced this in previous falls, late falls, having some of those winter temperatures arrive early. So it's not going to be too crazy, but it will be colder than your average on paper. Now, this lighter blue shade, again, that's going to be a little bit less noticeable, but there will be times when I think it is pretty noticeable. And particularly later in the fall, in some of those Great Lakes regions into the south central United States, that's when we could see some pretty cold temperatures in the later half of October into November. And then in Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, portions of Nebraska and Kansas, I think earlier on in the fall is your best chance for some pretty cold temperatures later September into earlier October. I could definitely see some cool downs there for the Rocky Mountains that will be quite chilly for you guys for this time of year. 
Now we're going to get into our overall forecast. And this is always my favorite segment because I can just kind of put out, put into words what I really think is going to happen here and what it'll actually feel like for you. Now for the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, portions of Idaho and Nevada as well, we're going to be experiencing average precipitation as I mentioned earlier in the video. This is going to be an area where we are going to see average precipitation, but it is going to be noticeable because the past few falls and winters over the last you know five or so years, we have seen below average precipitation most of the time. Now for California, Nevada, Arizona, we're going to be experiencing more dry conditions here, slightly more dry. It'll be a little bit noticeable, but not too noticeable, particularly because of the fact that we have been seeing more dry falls and winters as of recently, besides with the exception of last winter, maybe the winter before we did see some above average precipitation, but most of the winters in the past five to 10 years and falls have had below average precipitation. Now within this blue region, we're going to have cooler at times, particularly again in that later portion of September into earlier October. I think that's where we'll mostly be seeing cooler at times for these regions. And again, this also extends into the Rocky Mountains, but I do think that we're going to be seeing in the, this white region a lot of early snowfalls for you guys in September and October. And that's, I think, a little bit more noticeable than some cooler temperatures. So in this white region, we are going to be experiencing some, uh, some September, October, and November snowfall within this white region. As well as notice there's another white region there for the New England states into upstate New York. That's going to be the same story. Some snowfall for November, maybe later October as well. Within this yellow region down here in New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, we're going to have a flip-flop pattern, really warm at times, really cold at times, dry at times, warm at times. It's going to be all over the place, guys. You're going to be experiencing basically four seasons worth of weather within a single season, so it's going to be all over the place and really just difficult to forecast, but just experience some all-over-the-place weather in general. Within this purple region, we have colder than normal temperatures expected from Montana down into Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and then back up into the Great Lakes states. Again, the more western region is going to be more for September and October, and then that more eastern region is going to be more for October and November. As we're going to see the colder temperatures start to creep eastward as the fall progresses, this is similar to what we saw last fall, actually, and I expect similar conditions uh, not necessarily similar conditions, but a similar timing on the conditions and where they move and at what point they move. We saw a huge switch in the temperatures in the middle portion of October last fall, and I expect that we could see something similar. It might be more gradual, but I think there's going to be a similar time frame around mid-October where we do see that switch from central United States more towards the eastern United States. Within this pink or magenta area, we have some early Arctic air. And by early, I mean, again, earlier winter conditions. So this is going to be more for later October into November. We will see some winter-like conditions. So it will be coming earlier than normal. That's what I mean by early. Not early fall, but early for how cold it's going to be. For the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, some of those Great Lakes states as well as Minnesota, Chicago's in there as well. We will be seeing some Arctic air pretty early on comparatively to what we would normally see. So it is going to be quite chilly for the fall time. And I do expect some pretty frequent Arctic air to be coming in in November and, or, or, and later October. Now in this green region, we do have stormy late. I think that with where the trough is going to be setting up sometimes, I think that we will see some stormy conditions for the northeastern United States into the south central United States or south central eastern United States. So Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, into Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and some portions of New York as well. This will be some sort of nor'easter type storm track, but just a little bit further inland. I forget what they call that, maybe Appalachian Runner, but that type of that type of storm track is going to be more frequent later in the fall, I believe. We do have this orange region where I'm expecting warmer conditions than normal for Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and into Virginia. Just to the south of you, though, we do have hurricane season. Not much to say on that. There, You could either get hit or you don't get hit, but that's it is what it is. We'll have to see in the more shorter range if you're going to get hit by a hurricane or not, obviously. But hurricane season is going to be going on, and possibly some of these areas will be affected by hurricanes or tropical storms. Now, heading into the New England states, we do have a late fall expected for upstate New York, Connecticut, Long Island, Rhode Island. Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine alike. We do have that brown region, which is, again, 
late fall, a few weeks late, maybe a couple, maybe just one, but it will be a little bit later than you're used to with those uh, average to maybe slightly warmer than normal conditions, especially in the earlier portion of fall. So expect a later fall to arrive for you guys in New England and upstate New York. Again, within that white region, we are expecting some early snowfall to be possible. We did see this last fall as well, and it isn't that out of the normal for the some of those mountains in upstate New York, some of the Green Mountains, White Mountains, and those mountains up there in Maine to be experiencing snow in later October and November. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, this final fall forecast for 2019. Thank you for watching the whole thing. I hope you really enjoyed it, and let me know what you thought. And of course, again, check the pinned comment for our Facebook group. That is going to be such a cool place to discuss weather with a lot of other weather enthusiasts. We're approaching 200 members already, and I want to get a lot more in there and get some activity going. We're looking for admins and mod moderators as well to help with the group and help it grow. So if you are interested in one of those positions, you can check my description in under this video right now and contact my contact email that is going to be down there and you could possibly reach out to me to be an admin or moderator in the Facebook group which I'm trying to grow like I said before. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and have a great fall and stay safe if you are affected by hurricanes. See you in the next video.